Retro gamers, forget clunky menus and endless scrolling because today I'm showing you the ultimate retro gaming hub that turns your phone, tablet, or Android TV into a beautiful, organized, console-crushing powerhouse. It's called Reset Collection. And once you try it, trust me, you'll never go back. Reset Collection is basically a game launcher made for emulation fans. It scans your device, finds all your games, automatically adds cover art, and organizes them by console so everything looks neat and easy to access. With Reset Collection, you can organize and launch games from NES, SNES, Sega Genesis, PlayStation 1 and 2, PSP, Nintendo DS, Game Boy, Dreamcast, and many more all in one place. It works perfectly with popular emulators like PPSSPP, DuckStation, Ether SX2, RetroArch, Drastic, Flycast, and many others. Fortunately, Reset Collection is available on the Play Store for around $5. It has a solid 4.1 star rating and over 10,000 downloads, so it seems pretty good. When you launch the front end for the first time, you'll need to wait for a one-time initial data setup to finish. Then, it will introduce you to all the options of Reset Collection. Once that's complete, we can start adding systems. I'll show you how to add a system and its emulator. Whatever system or emulator you have, the process is the same. Click Add New System. You'll see hundreds of systems available. Find the one you want to add. For me, I'll add Nintendo 3DS by scrolling to it. Next, you'll be asked to select the emulator. You'll see all the available 3DS emulators like Citra, Citra MMJ, and RetroArch. Reset Collection will detect if an emulator isn't installed and offer a Play Store link to download it. Then, navigate to your 3DS ROM folder. Select my drive and then choose select current folder. Now the emulator will ask you to allow folder access. Click on next, then click on use this folder. In the scraping options, you can adjust image quality, set maximum downloads per hour, and choose what types of images to grab like box art, screenshots, logos, etc. Selecting scan and add system will begin downloading game data and images. You can change the backdrop, box art, logo, or banner for a game or system by long pressing its icon. If a game doesn't have an autoplay video, you can manually add one. Search YouTube for the game name plus gameplay. Copy the video ID, paste it in Reset, and save. The video will then play in your collection. You can also add your own images from your device's storage. To change the emulator for an individual game, open its menu, select Set Emulator, and choose from the installed options. For example, you can set PPSSPP for PSP games, Drastic for DS games, RetroArch for GBA, Nether SX2 for PS2, and many more. And there you have it, Retro Warriors! Your Android device just leveled up from a phone to a retro gaming super console. Smash that like button if you love retro gaming, subscribe for more emulator tips, and get ready. Because your next nostalgia trip is just one tap away.